Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's discuss about non-patentable industrial designs in India. So kindly please subscribe uh, to my channel. Many almost around 85 to 87 people are still not subscribed, but they are watching. Their watch hours are more. What I when I say they are watching, their watch hours are more. They are not just keeping my videos. They are watching, but uh, you guys are not subscribing. Uh, that's not at all, uh, you know, fair. Please kindly go through. Yes, audio clarity is a little bit uh, issue is there, and I'm working on it. I have reduced it significantly compared to the very pre previous uh, this thing, and uh, in future I will try to rectify that also. So now kindly, uh, you know, subscribe and then watch. So non-protectable industrial designs in India. That is again sixth topic in the module five. So, what are non-protectable means? You cannot protect it because of some reasons. So, for example, if at all you make some design which is against public morals, okay, then definitely that design cannot be, you know, registered. Maybe you are hurting some society or the public, or you are there is some uh, what you call there is no people are not comfort with what is the design is. Maybe uh, the vulgarity will be there, or maybe some of the uh, designs which uh, speaks against some particular community, or uh, all these things will come into picture. Next, industrial designs including flags, you know, em emblems, or signs of any country. Even those things also cannot be, what you say, the protected under the design. Okay, because they are, they can anybody can print flags, anybody can distribute it okay if we give the design rights to all these things it will be a problem for the entire public that's why they are called the moral values will be you know uh, whatever the damaging moral values on that cannot be used next any design describing the process of making of an article okay that is also cannot be protected okay Industrial designs of books, calendars, certificates, forms, and other documents like dress, uh, dressmaking patterns, the uh, greeting cards, leaflets, maps, or plan cards. Uh, you know, uh, we are having postcards, stamps, medals. These all are having designs, right? But you cannot register or you cannot protect under the Industrial Design Act or Design Act of 2000 okay why because they are all if you protect this they are all against public morals how and then every time somebody wants to uh, uh, print uh, the calendar or use the calendar they have to take your permission if somebody wants to print the calendar they have to take your permission all that, that is against public moral values that is the reason these things are made non protectable industrial design in India. Now, the artistic work defined under the section 2 of C of Copyright Act 1957 is not subject matter for registration for industrial designs. They would come under the Design Protection 2000 Act 2000. Like example, we are having artistic work example, paintings, sculptures, drawings, including diagram, map, chart or a plan. These all things might not get you industrial design but they will get you the copyright uh, this thing permission or what you say copyright uh, registration you can do next photographs and the work of architecture if any photographs are there then or any related different different work architecture which are made by the the uh, uh, the uh, you know the architecture engineer then definitely that cannot be you know protected under uh, this thing next any other work related to the artistic craftsmanship that is also cannot uh, you know uh, register next industrial designs does not include any trademark okay so that is what the design act says industrial design does not include any trademark so next topic we are having the protection term that we will discuss in the next class please do subscribe and support.